Hello fans, welcome to Suzy Gist, where we share trending celebrity updates. Until the lion tells its own story, the hunter will always be the hero. Yes. We have heard so many versions of the alleged battery altercation concerning the iconic rapper, Kanye West. However, many have not yet heard from Kanye himself. We are glad that West has now shared his account of the altercation he got into with the man accused of sexually assaulting his wife, Bianca Sensori. Bingo! Please kindly like, share, comment and subscribe as we dive deeper to get Kanye's own side of the story. It is always good to not conclude until you hear from both sides. Right? In this video, Kanye West reveals how a confrontation with a man who sexually assaulted his spiritual wife, Bianca Sensori, escalated. After a night out at the Chateau Marmont, the iconic rapper, Kanye West, became the subject of a battery case with the Los Angeles Police Department after allegedly punching another man who grabbed his wife, Bianca Sensori. Kanye West claimed the stranger had put his hands under Sensori's dress and grabbed her inappropriately. This allegation has been making rounds on social media, but Kanye West has now come out to set the record straight. Let's get his own side of the story to better understand the whole saga. Kanye West has now shared his side of the incident and clarified it did not happen at Disneyland after confusion over timelines. He gave these details while speaking on the Download podcast. This is why it is always better to listen to all parties before reporting. The grabbing incident did not happen in Disneyland as we earlier thought. Kanye also revealed that he did not see the incident, instead, his spiritual wife, Bianca Sensori, relayed what happened to him. Hmm. I am actually sweating on my seat because we got it all mixed up. Kanye did not witness his wife being grabbed by the man in question. He was only told by his wife, however, it still prompted West to take action and confront the man who was sitting outside the club. Yes. He heard the narrative, got irritated and faced the man in a bar. I just hope it was the right man, else it gets complicated. Kanye continued his narrative. I talked to the guy and said, you just, you need to leave right now, and he was like, oh, it's okay. And, it's like, no, it's not okay, Kanye West recalled. It wasn't okay. Let's get the record straight. So Kanye wanted the man out of the bar but the man accepted to go and later refused to leave the bar. Then that was when the struggle sparked out. So what really happened? This is one of the reasons we should never conclude a story without facts. By the time you hear from all parties, you will be able to make a fine judgment of the whole scenario. Right? Let's go further to understand better. Note that, since the initial report from the Los Angeles Police Department on the charge, the man has been allegedly identified as one of Los Angeles bar-owning twins, Mark or Johnny Houston. Bomb. This is where the complication sets in. Yes. It becomes complicated because we are talking about twins here. Identical twins are difficult to differentiate, so we hope the wrong twin was not attacked else it will be another issue altogether. Have you ever met identical twins or triplets? I have and it is not easy to identify who is who. This is why laying your hands on someone just from storytelling is not good. Yes, because you may be confronting the wrong person. It was reported by TMZ that Sensori had bumped into one of the twins inside the club, where she claims he grabbed and touched her. It was said that the club was simply busy at the time and they bumped into each other. We all know how confusing it can be in a busy club. The incident was over quickly, and he headed outside to sit with friends until Kanye West came outside to confront him. However, reports suggest the iconic rapper might have punched the wrong twin, although it's not clear which of the Houstons bumped into Sensori in the first place. Any issue concerning identical twins often ends up in complications. So which of the twins grabbed Bianca? Or better still, which of the twins was punched by Kanye West? As of this moment, we can't say anything with certainty. The twin who was punched reported the incident to the police, who arrived hours after Kanye West had left the venue with his wife, Bianca. The man told officers that Kanye punched him in the face at least two times. Hmm. How can you receive heavy punches without knowing the exact number? 
You should be able to give us exact figures, except you had a knockout second punch that sent you to sleep temporarily. Kanye West's team has claimed that, grabbed is grossly inadequate as a description of what happened. Bianca was physically assaulted. How do we differentiate a grab from an assault when we were not in the scene? West's team holds that the assailant didn't merely collide into her. He put his hands under her dress, directly on her body, he grabbed her waist, he spun her around, and then he blew her kisses. So, she was battered and sexually assaulted. An investigation is currently underway into the incident. However, the law enforcement sources have reportedly failed to find any evidence that one of the brothers assaulted Sensori. So who actually assaulted Kanye's wife? People do resemble and we may be talking about the Houston's triplets, quadruplets or quintuplets. The case is awaiting review by the city attorney to see if any official charges need to be filed or not. We are hoping that charges will not be pressed against Kanye. However, he should avoid laying hands on others. What is your opinion on this issue? Share in the comment section below. We would love to hear from you. Do you know that Kanye West is set to venture into an adult film business and open a Yeezy studio for it? Wonders shall never end indeed. The same Kanye that has been in fashion and music, is now turning his attention to the adult entertainment industry, despite all the saga that has not even ended. Kanye is really unstoppable. TMZ latest reports show that Kanye has plans to establish his own adult film studio. They also said that the idea is not did not just come up. It is something he has been planning for a long time now, and he is actively pursuing the idea with his associates as of now. Kanye has been in the limelight ever since he got married to Bianca Sensori in a close spiritual ceremony. For the past months, she has been dressing in see-through attire. Could this be a way of testing the adult film market? How can someone who gets irritated about another man grabbing his wife go this way? It has been reported that the adult film studio will come under the Yeezy brand, forming part of a broader adult entertainment division within the parent company. So be ready to see how Yeezy's new studio will be like. Kanye has even gone ahead to engage the expertise of Mike Maas who has earlier served in different positions in the industry as a producer, casting director, and art director. Many are predicting that the proposed studio could probably be launching as early as this summer. Thereby, marking a big expansion of Kanye's business portfolio. If this new studio gets launched in summer, then it means the planning has been going on underground for a long time now. What is most confusing is that, this announcement comes after Kanye went public about his addiction to pornography and categorically stated the negative effect it has had on his personal life. So what will cause a man to venture into something with such a personal negative effect? What could the reason be? Money, fame, or open addiction? Please share your opinion in the comment section below. To think that he has two girls and dares into this type of venture is alarming. However, who are we to have a say in what he does? We shall only have our ears on the ground to report as things begin to unfold. Kindly like, share, comment, subscribe and turn on the notification bell to keep up with updates. Thank you for watching and see you soon. Cheers.